Halo is a rich, immersive story with millions of loyal and dedicated fans. We deliver an exciting and engaging experience to these fans. They need to know what the hot playlist is today. They need to know what the challenges are. They need to know where their friends have been, what their friends have been playing. Have their friends gotten more medals than them? They need to know all of this and they need to react to it and interact with their friends in real time. We need to deliver hundreds of thousands of updates per second to millions of players across the Halo universe. We need to get them the right information to the right device at the right time. There was nothing off the shelf that solved the problems we needed to solve at the scale we needed to solve them. So we turned to Microsoft's Extreme Computing Group. Hundreds of thousands of requests per second across thousands of servers in real time. These guys are crazy. But in Extreme Computing, those are the kind of challenges we like to tackle. For us, using Windows Azure was a no-brainer. Platform as a service allows us to get thousands of nodes abstracting away the operating system without having to worry about a thing. We're able to use storage to store massive amounts of data, and we can use Service Bus to route hundreds of thousands of messages around the system without a problem. Now, we need a programming model that allows us to scale limitlessly, transcending the machine boundaries while still maintaining that real-time performance need that we have. We took the actor model approach and we built a modern cloud scale distributed framework optimized for Windows Azure. We call it Orleans, and that's the framework that allows you to build large graphs of live actors distributed across thousands of machines. And those actors can interact in real time. In our lab, we tested one of the real services handling over a million requests per second on just 125 servers. By leveraging Azure and Orleans, we were able to deliver dozens of services all operating at massive scale hundreds of thousands of requests per second or thousands of servers in real time, well, maybe these guys aren't crazy, just extreme.